Afghanistan's two weirdest traditions. I feel a little bad about this. For a decade and more, one country has dominated the news headlines more than pretty much all the others. Afghanistan. Mention this country and what comes to mind? Probably Taliban and terrorism, but Afghanistan is so much more. Cool atmosphere, really, really nice. Enjoying it here. Beyond the headlines of war, there is another country where ancient traditions endure and a new country is emerging. They have all kind of vegetables, all kind of fruits. Everything you need is here on the market in Masa Sharif. These are however two of the weirdest traditions of Afghanistan. 1. Buskashi Afghanistan would like its national game Buskashi or goat grabbing to be an Olympic sport. Regarded as the world's wildest game, it involves riders on horseback competing to grab a goat carcass and gallop clear of the others to drop it in a circle. Not a sport for the faint-hearted and unfortunately women can't apply. Afghanistan has one of my favorite cuisines which is a lot more sophisticated than kebabs and rice and they also have the second weirdest tradition I've pretty much seen in all of my life. Cockfights. Who do you think will win? Uh, maybe the white one. To be honest, I found this tradition rather barbaric, but also respected I was in another country. People don't use any phone, anything, they're just so focused on the match. It's uh, like a football game or something. Something really important to them, you can see how focused they are. Cockfighting, known in Afghanistan as Mwokjangji, has the trappings of a gladiatorial contest. Wings outstretched, the avian fighters tear into each other as bets furiously exchange hands. So when a chicken run away, it loses the fight. They won't kill each other, but that's the rules in this game. I'm uh, leaving the fight. Didn't want to see more of this. I didn't like it actually. I hope you had an insight. The chicken fight was not for me. I didn't like it. These are two of the weirdest traditions of Afghanistan. A beautiful country full of beautiful people and a top 10 favorite country for me because of the many good Afghan people. The landscapes and the raw feeling, a feeling you won't have anywhere else. Have you been to Afghanistan and have you heard about these two weird traditions? Please comment below. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go.